For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. As the United States edges closer to the presidential election, concerns around market stability are starting to reflect in investor sentiment. These election jitters have created volatility in the stock market, leaving investors with little certainty on which way the indexes will swing. All three of the major stock indexes saw an unpredictable trading day. Stocks initially rose, then dropped only to recover momentarily before finally falling back, closing the session firmly in negative territory. This swing in the markets underscores the uncertainty surrounding the impact of political changes on market dynamics. In other noteworthy news, the chip-making giant NVIDIA is set to replace Intel in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, marking a significant shift for the index. This announcement provided NVIDIA with enough momentum to overtake Apple as the world's most valuable company, albeit briefly. This moment not only reflects the increasing importance of artificial intelligence, but also highlights NVIDIA NVIDIA's prominence within the industry. Analysts anticipate that NVIDIA's position in the Dow could bring more visibility to the tech sector within the index, as the company's cutting-edge advancements in artificial intelligence have garnered global attention. Meanwhile, 10-year Treasury yields dropped after reports indicated that Vice President Kamala Harris was leading former President Donald Trump in recent Iowa polls. Treasury yields, often seen as indicators of economic confidence, fluctuated on the news, which added yet another layer of unpredictability to the financial financial markets. This decline in yields signifies that investors may be hedging against the potential changes a new administration could bring, particularly in terms of fiscal and regulatory policies. Cryptocurrencies, which had previously been rallying on Trump's rising election odds, responded sharply to these latest poll results. Harris's slim lead in a handful of key swing states led to a pullback in cryptocurrency prices, reflecting the market's sensitivity to any shifts in political momentum. This election presents a unique scenario for portfolios as each candidate's administration is likely to impact different sectors in contrasting ways. Analysts have suggested that a Kamala Harris presidency could provide a lift for industries such as renewable energy, home construction, and healthcare, with policy initiatives that align with these sectors' growth. Conversely, a second term for Donald Trump is projected to benefit industries like cryptocurrency, financial services, small cap stocks, and the traditional energy sector, as his administration's policy focus could favor these areas. Certain stocks are expected to thrive if Trump secures the presidency once again. For instance, a more relaxed regulatory environment could potentially boost financial institutions like Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, as projected by UBS analyst Andrew Garthwaite. Furthermore, Trump's well-known stance on supporting fossil fuels may also translate to potential gains for American oil companies like Exxon and BP. The former president's policies have historically leaned toward boosting traditional energy resources, which may stimulate investments in the oil and gas sector. Additionally, private prison stocks such as Geo Group and CoreCivic could benefit under a Trump administration given the previous administration's support for private incarceration facilities. Another intriguing sector that could gain from a Trump victory is cryptocurrency. Trump's affinity for cryptocurrency and his promises to transform the United States into the crypto capital of the world could bring positive momentum to digital currencies like Bitcoin and crypto exchanges like Coinbase, which may experience growth from favorable regulatory conditions. On the other hand, should Kamala Harris win the presidency, a Democratic administration is expected to prioritize renewable energy investments. Analysts at UBS predict that such a policy shift would benefit companies like First Solar and Enphase Energy, which are well positioned to capitalize on increased interest and investment in clean energy solutions. Meanwhile, companies with substantial exposure to the Chinese market, including Apple and Starbucks, might fare better under a Harris administration due to anticipated policies that could reduce trade tensions. The healthcare sector is another area expected to see gains under a Democratic presidency, with companies such as Centeni and Molina Healthcare care positioned to benefit from expanded healthcare initiatives. Harris's administration may focus on bolstering programs like Obamacare and increasing a Medicaid enrollment, which would create positive market conditions for companies in this space. Home renovation stocks like Home Depot could also experience growth, driven by Harris's proposed policies which would likely stimulate the home improvement market. It's important to note that relying solely on election-driven trading strategies can be risky, as political outcomes are just one of many factors influencing the market. 
broader elements such as economic indicators, corporate earnings reports, and unexpected events all play significant roles in determining stock prices and market sentiment. Investors should keep this in mind as the market's reaction to election results may be short-lived and could be swayed by a range of unpredictable factors. As the election margins remain razor thin, results could take additional time to finalize, adding further market volatility. Investors are likely to see additional swings in stock prices in the coming days, as uncertainties around the election resolution keep market movements unpredictable. Just as Nvidia is set to replace Intel on the Dow, Sherwin-Williams will also replace Dow Inc., marking another shakeup in the index. Sherwin-Williams' stock gained 4.59% following the news, while Dow Inc. saw a decline of 2.08%, reflecting the shifting dynamics within the industrial and materials sectors. In other news, Chewy, a popular pet supply company, also received positive news as it joined the Midcap 400 index, replacing Stericycle. This inclusion sent Chewy's shares up by 6.34%. Additionally, Peloton saw a 3.59% increase in stock price following a double upgrade from Bank of America analysts, who expressed optimism about the company's improved profit outlook and the recent hiring of Chief Executive Officer Peter Stern from Ford. We also have more positive news because Yum China, the operator of KFC and Pizza Hut restaurants in China reported a strong quarter, showing a 7.12% increase in its stock price. The company's performance was bolstered by an impressive number of new store openings, which translated into better-than-expected revenue and earnings last quarter. On a different note, nuclear energy stocks took a hit after the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission denied Talon Energy's request to boost energy output at its nuclear facility in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania. This would have powered an Amazon data center, but the decision led to a 2.23% decline for Talon and a steep 12.46% fall for Constellation Energy. In the biotech sector, Viking Therapeutics experienced a mixed day as its shares initially surged following promising clinical trial results for its weight loss pill, but then dropped 13.36% as investors took profits. Meanwhile, the New York Times saw its stock slide by 7.71% due to slower subscriber growth reported in the last quarter. Now let's talk about one of the best investors of all time. Warren Buffett, the 94-year-old Oracle of Omaha, remains one of the most respected investors globally, known for his steady approach through financial crises and unique market insights. Despite his remarkable success, Buffett has recently shown signs of caution toward the stock market. In quarter three, Berkshire Hathaway refrained from purchasing any new stocks and continued to pare down its holdings in well-known names like Apple and Bank of America. Over the last quarter alone, Berkshire sold off $36 billion in equity. Equities. Interestingly, Berkshire Hathaway did not engage in any share buybacks, a sharp departure from previous years, as the company repurchased $2.9 billion worth of its own stock in the first half of the year and $9.2 billion the year before. This decision has left Berkshire with an impressive cash reserve of approximately $325 billion, fueling speculation about Buffett's motivations. Some investors believe that Buffett may view current stock valuations as too high, preferring to hold cash in anticipation of a potential market correction. Others suggest he might be preparing for retirement, aiming to leave his successors at Berkshire with a substantial financial foundation. You should also be aware that luxury car maker Ferrari has exemplified the power of a strong brand in today's market. Despite a general reduction in luxury spending among consumers, Ferrari's affluent client base remains largely unaffected, readily investing in vehicles that reach 60 miles per hour in 2.4 seconds. With a lengthy waiting list for deliveries, Ferrari is positioned for continued success and analysts are eager to see how management will address this achievement in their upcoming earnings report. Current expectations stand at $2.19 earnings per share on revenue totaling $1,790,000,000. Lastly, Supermicro Computer, on the other hand, faces a challenging landscape. The company has recently dealt with a negative short seller report and the investigation by the Department of Justice and the resignation of its independent financial auditor, all of which occurred within a short time frame. Shareholders will likely expect answers during the earnings call, though it remains uncertain whether management will provide any meaningful insights. In summary, today's market was marked by sharp fluctuations as election jitters added to ongoing volatility. Major indexes swung wildly before settling in negative territory. Nvidia's replacement of Intel in the Dow Jones gave the chipmaker a boost, helping it briefly surpass Apple as the most valuable company globally. Meanwhile, treasury yields and cryptocurrency markets reacted to polling data showing Vice President Harris ahead in some key states. 
analysts expect that a Harris administration could benefit sectors like renewable energy and healthcare, while a Trump re-election might favor financials, crypto, and fossil fuels. In other stock news, Chewy's inclusion in the mid-cap 400 and Peloton's analyst upgrade led to gains for both companies, while Yum China impressed with strong earnings. However, nuclear energy stocks fell sharply following regulatory setbacks and Viking Therapeutics experienced profit-taking after positive clinical data. Even Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has been sitting on a massive cash pile, signaling caution amid high valuations. Luxury automaker Ferrari is set to report impressive earnings, supported by resilient demand from its wealthy customer base. However, Supermicrocomputer faces mounting uncertainty due to recent legal and regulatory issues. With the election in focus, the markets may continue to see swings in the short term. Keep following us for updates on these stories and more. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.